Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources makes a surprising announcement and it leaves one of its longtime partners in the dust. The DNR has big plans in store for the popular McKenzie Center. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Eric Franke. First tonight, the group, though, is going at it alone after it cut ties with Wisconsin's Wildlife Federation. The nonprofit helped manage the center since 2006 when it nearly closed. Now it serves some 16,000 students, but its environmental education programs were threatened again last year due to cost concerns. The DNR asked for help, but only the Wildlife Federation submitted a proposal of ideas to keep McKenzie open and growing. New at 10, the night team Jennifer Hoff has more on why then the DNR would deny their proposal. Jen? Eric, the DNR said the proposal didn't fulfill its new vision for McKenzie. That includes outdoor skills and, and hunter mentor training. The WWF argued the changes are just too expensive for anyone to implement. Since the 70s, the McKenzie Center has served as an outdoor classroom place for the DNR to teach children about the environment. Its partnership with Wisconsin Wildlife Federation strengthened the programs and attendance. But come January, after seven years, the pair will part ways. What we want to try to do is expand what we offer at McKenzie and considering that the Wildlife Federation can't provide that, it's time that the department take over and fulfill that vision. The Federation said this new vision costs upwards of a million dollars, a far cry from the $240,000 it costs to run the center now. The high price tag is worrisome, given the center's financial problems last spring nearly costed its education programs. We wanted to be realistic and not promise uh, more than could be done for the amount of money. Um, so that's why they didn't receive any bids besides ours. The DNR hasn't identified any other funding sources, but says it's committed to keeping McKenzie open and hopes it could even hire the Federation's seven employees. I think the thing that we'll need to focus on is setting a budget that's re realistic to try to achieve those goals. And we are going to have to take a look at the funding that's available. and We may have to re re um, reapportion funding to make sure that we can afford it. I believe that they would have to find some uh, fund someplace at least to carry on the portion of the program that's been delivered uh, by the Wisconsin Wildlife Federation. The DNR says it will be in contact with Wisconsin schools to schedule programs at the center in 2014 after its contract with WWF ends. It also says the popular maple syrup and learn to hunt events along with the wildlife exhibit will not be affected by the split, guys. A lot of people talking about mm -hmm. that tonight. Jennifer, thank you. Mm -hmm.